It's said that deep down inside, at the genetic level, we're all still animals. That survival is a biological imperative which kicks in when facing death. I'd confronted my own mortality several times so far, but never like this. It had been over a week since I ran out of food. Every day I slept in longer, conserving my energy, dreaming of some past primal life where men didn't need guns to kill. We did it with our wits and our hands. I saw a news story before the fall about a father and son who got lost hiking in Yellowstone. They lived off berries and pine nuts until they were saved. But the berries were poisonous and eventually killed the boy. I watched animals, tried to see what they were eating. But that only got me sick. Nature is a bounty if you know what's safe to eat. But if you're ignorant like I was, you better know how to hunt. How to stay alive in the woods. Before the fall, that seemed to me like useless knowledge. But I was fast learning that trapping and spearfishing weren't as easy as they looked in the movies. After countless failures, trying everything I could think of to feed myself, I finally reached a breaking point. It wasn't something I planned out or thought through. Something just took hold of me. It felt like a dream. Like it wasn't me at all. Another thing Hollywood doesn't get right. How much it hurts when you're shot. My whole arm was on fire. Figured it must have been a deer hunter with bad aim. But the man wasn't after the deer. He was after me. In a matter of minutes, I'd gone from the hunter to the hunted. Don't know how long I ran. It was all a blur from that point. The pain it was spreading to my shoulder and back. Kept wishing I'd just pass out. So the nightmare would end. Unfortunately, it was only just beginning. <laughs>